some almond vanilla milk. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Some of the creamer from Neely and some stevia. All right, 7.40 and it's time for breakfast. So I'm having this um, triple zero strawberry yogurt, one cup of my version of sweatpants oatmeal, which is four cups of water to one cup of oatmeal. And so I've got like lots of extra servings over here. And then another coffee and this has the creamer recipe, Neely's creamer, um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk and a few drops of stevia for breakfast. Okay, 11 o'clock and I am really hungry. It's been about three, almost three and a half hours since I ate last. I've been drinking on this oolong tea. This is the brand I buy, Prince of Peace. Um, and I buy this in a box of 100 count. And I usually buy two 100 count boxes off of Amazon and it winds up being right around $13. I really enjoy that tea. So I've got here some pepper jack cheese slices, some summer sausage, some walnuts, some green bell peppers, and a little bit of that homemade ranch. That's the uh, Rhonda's Ranch seasoning mixed up with my homemade mayonnaise and a little bit of unsweetened plain almond milk to thin it out. So I'm going to eat this for a little snack. Um, this is actually quite a large snack, but I will still be hungry, I'm sure, come 12 o'clock. Okay, 12.30, and this is some kind of like a hash that I've actually already started eating. I forgot to start uh, take some video of this. Some summer sausage, some kale, and then this white yellowy stuff looks like eggs, but it's not. It's actually this cheesy breadsticks um, from Trim Healthy Table. And I had it uncooked in the refrigerator and I was going to make another pizza crust with it, but I decided to try it out on a skillet and the skillet did not work. So I wanna play around with that a little bit more, but it basically turned into kind of like a version of hash browns. So anyway, this is kind of just like a skillet hash, so to speak. Hey, so it is 4.45 and I have not seen you for a while. Um, or at least you haven't seen anything I've eaten for a while because lunch was literally the last thing I ate. It's been a little over four hours since we last had lunch. The girls have had a snack, but I did not. I find whenever I've been doing activities that I'm not usually doing on a daily basis, I am less hungry. So I think that's sort of a testament that I should probably be working out more frequently than I do, but it's not my season. <laughs> I'm gonna just sit down in my season and be comfortable with it. Um, but I have been drinking water like crazy. And I've been cooking dinner, and dinner tonight is gonna be a General Tso's chicken recipe that I've had in my recipe box, book, whatever, for probably two and a half years now. Um, and it's from Keto Bites, I think. And if I can find the recipe, I'll link it down in the description box, but if I can't, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, um, it falls into the Trim Healthy Mama S category, and it's um, not something we have very often because it is a little bit uh, more labor intensive. And typically what you do is you bread your chicken pieces and then you fry them in a skillet on the pan, but I have opted to bake them off in the oven. And so by doing this, I'm saving myself the hassle of having to clean up oil from all over my countertop. Um, and then after that's done, I'll take my General Tso's chicken dressing sauce stuff that I've made here, and I will pour that on about half of the chicken. The girls will have their chicken bites, chicken pieces as chicken nuggets without any of the sauce on it because it's too spicy for them. And um, I'd rather them eat than force them to succumb to mine and Jared's tastes. <laughs> so I will have that as our main dish and then Jared and I will have our General Tso's chicken over top of Kali rice. The girls will get just some white jasmine rice. I'm putting on white almond flour right now. And then everybody will have some steamed broccoli to go along with it. So it falls very nicely into the Trim Healthy Mama S category. The girls will obviously be having a crossover because they'll be having regular rice. I am gonna keep working on dinner and I'll show you our plates whenever I'm done. So I forgot to show you everyone's plate once I had everything put together, but this is my plate. It has some steamed broccoli, a pile of collie rice, and then I put my General Tso's chicken on top. I do wish I would have had more sauce, but it was still really delicious and we love this meal. 
All right, 7.12, and I'm gonna have an oolong tea, and Jared and I are splitting a cheesecake. This is like one of those little four inch cheesecakes that I make. Um, this was a video I did for a Valentine's Day collaboration, and I topped mine with some skinny chocolate from Trim Healthy Mama Cookbook. It's all over the internet, and so that's gonna be our evening thing, and we're probably gonna sit down and watch a movie or watch some shows and call it a night. It's been a long day and we're really tired, so we're gonna hang our hats there. We'll see you next time. Bye.